This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 376. How to Get Fitter During the Holidays by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hello, happy Monday, and a very Merry Christmas to you for those that celebrate today's Christmas Day. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where we do something much different than the typical podcast. Besides airing an episode on Christmas, which is already strange enough, we simply find blogs and get permission from the websites to narrate them for you every weekday. Here on this show, I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more. And then on Fridays, I answer your questions right here on the show. So in case you're wondering, I did record this in advance. And right now, I'm probably spending time with family, celebrating the holiday, And if you're listening to this on Christmas Day, I hope you get time to spend time with friends and family as well, but I hope you enjoy this episode. Now, today's post is related to the holidays. It's a brand new one from Zen Habits, and it's nice and short. So with that, let's get right to it, and then you can spend time with your family and friends, and then we can start optimizing your life. How to Get Fitter During the Holidays by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. Because of a number of family gatherings in the past week, I'm feeling heavy. I've overeaten and my exercise has been minimal. That's just part of the holidays sometimes. Things get so busy you can't help but let your healthy habits fall off. So as of today, I'm implementing a new holiday plan to take me to the new year. I'm calling it my holiday fitness plan. Here it is. One, be as consistent as possible when I'm not traveling and have no visitors. We're gonna be traveling a bit, and right now, we have visitors. So, during those times, and whenever we have a family gathering, I'm not gonna worry about being consistent, but just try not to overdo things. During all other times, I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible with both exercise and eating. Two, no sweets or starchy foods, but more veggies and fibrous foods. For eating, the biggest difficulties for me are starchy foods, like french fries, breads, pizzas, and sweets. So I'm just gonna cut those out unless I'm traveling or have a family gathering. Even during those times, I'm gonna try to limit the carb-rich foods to a reasonable amount. Instead of sweets or starchy foods, I'm gonna focus on eating as many veggies as I can, as well as other fiber-rich foods like nuts, seeds, and beans. Fruits are fine too. Three, eat moderate amounts. I don't really like tracking my calories or anything, but I know my habits tend toward overeating. So the key, other than food choices, is to eat a moderate amount, meaning eat to less than full, because when I eat to full, it's usually a little too much. This requires mindfulness of how fast I'm eating, I tend to eat too much, and portion sizes. When I'm eating alone, this is much easier, but when I eat with the family, mindfulness is more of a challenge. I think I can do it if I remind myself before each meal. Four, weights to keep the muscle, running to keep fit, yoga to keep sane. I plan to lift weights twice a week just to retain muscle, doing squats, deadlifts, bench press, and chin-ups. Then run three times a week to stay fit. My wife and I are doing a half marathon training plan with some sprint intervals in the shorter runs. The Saturday run will usually be a longer run. Then an almost daily short yoga session, which I need for flexibility, but also believe is a great meditation session. So a pretty simple plan no starchy or sweet foods, eat lots of veggies and fiber-rich foods, lift weights twice a week, run three times a week with a short yoga session most days. And it's flexible. If I'm traveling or I'm at a family gathering or have visitors, I don't have to stress out. The key is to stick to this plan. Here's how to get better at sticking to plans like this. One, write it down. Put it somewhere you'll see it regularly. Two, Picking some simple rules, like the ones you just heard, help make things clear cut with no decision making or negotiating every day. Three, each day, wake up and have a plan. What are you going to do to work out? What are you going to eat? Four, pick a few meals and just make those on most days. I like scrambled tofu with veggies for breakfast, tempest stir fry with veggies for lunch and dinner, and big hearty salads, sometimes a bean and veggie soup thrown in. Five, have reminders. How will I remember to work out? How will I remember to stay mindful at mealtimes? And six, get better at keeping promises to yourself. Does this matter to you? Does it matter more than urges to eat sweets? Does it matter more than the discomfort of exercise? If it matters, 
Make a promise to yourself and keep it. If it doesn't matter, don't make the promise. Do something else. The holidays are always busy, always filled with overeating and too many unhealthy meals. But they don't have to be the time when you just drop everything. I'm gonna do my best to stick to these simple rules and keep my promises to myself. I'll let you know how things go by the new year. You just listened to the post titled How to Get Fitter During the Holidays by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. It's okay to have a goal over the holidays where you say, I'm not going to gain weight this year. I'm just going to maintain my weight. That's perfectly fine. If you know the holidays are a tough time for you, if the holidays are a time when you typically lose your stamina, eat too many sweets, just maintaining your healthy behaviors, that's good enough. Don't feel like you have to get super muscular or super fit over the holidays. And I love Leo's idea of having reminders. What's so funny is we often have reminders for everything else all set in our phones. We'll get text reminders for appointments that we have coming up. We probably have other reminders on our calendars and on our phone that remind us of upcoming meetings or assignments or whatever that's coming up. Why not put a reminder in there to go for a 10-minute walk? Why not put an inspirational reminder? Hey, don't forget to eat mindfully today. We set reminders for ourselves for everything else. Why not include healthy habits too? For me, I block time off in my calendar for my workouts because I know I won't be able to squeeze it in if I don't. And so nobody can schedule any meetings or anything else during those times. I try not to, of course, make them smack dab in the middle of the morning, like 10 a.m. to noon, when I know meetings will take place. I try and be nice about it and realistic at the same time. So maybe from 6 to 8 a.m., I make sure that that time doesn't get blocked off because that's when I'll work out. Or maybe I'll say don't schedule any meetings from 4.30 on because that's when I'm gonna go beat the gym crowd and head for my workout. Sometimes that's what it takes. All right, that's enough for me. I said I'll keep this short. Thanks for being here. Thank you for listening every day. Thank you for being here on Christmas Day. I wish you a very Merry Christmas for those that are celebrating. I hope you have a great holiday. I will be back here tomorrow for Boxing Day and where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift, as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.